Hey, what is up everyone? This is Ken here. Welcome back again to Tech Current YouTube channel. If you're a user of my tool device, Redmi Note 9S Pro, Pro Max, Poco M2 Pro using any one of these devices, then must try out the Dove Fest OS based on Android version 12. Instant OS was great in the terms of customizations, but when the Dove Fest came, this is more interesting because it doesn't have any useless customizations, but features are quite good, including some customizations, of course. We're talking about the latest Dove Fest OS version, Android version 12 based and one of the best things i liked about this you don't get the pixel launcher pre-installed i'm not saying pixel launcher is bad or something like that pixel launcher is quite good but yes right now almost every custom home has pixel launcher or maybe one or two have the launcher launcher but this one has the dub launcher which is of course based on the quick step launcher but features are quite good you can hide the search bar from the home screen double tap gestures essence app opacity and interesting ones out there you can give it a try if you want to if you move into the home settings you have all these features available for you developer options were not working for me as you just saw and about of course this is a derp launcher which is based on avsp launcher which is of course quick step launcher or some features are added here interesting thing here is the new game space you can see the game space is just working great you have the fps info if you want to enable this you can you have the performance mode available for you you have a heads up if you want enable or if you want to disable it it's up to you a lot of things are here and this is interesting one you have this thing by default you don't need any kind of separate module for that you don't need root for that so this is actually quite useful you can use the screen recorder option you can use the screenshot option all these options are available here if you want to give it a try you can if you talk about the screen recording some extra options are available here too i think so it's good but it's all about users opinion users preference moving on to some customizations or ui things like the quick settings panel it looks good you have the white background some users were looking for that why we have the white background in pixel we have black background and yes that honestly doesn't seem to be that good but it's all about users opinion other things some extra tiles are available here screenshots screen record and a lot of extra tiles are available looks good and even you can see the icons i've customized those icons you can too options or customizations or features are basically same you have all these options available for you but one thing what i liked about this derp space or customizations is we have a new customization for you which means you can customize the dark theme and if you enable dark theme you also have the option to use a pure black theme this is great if you're using any other device or if you're using amoled device this will look perfect you can also customize the default fonts i'm using oneplus sans and these are working quite great you can even customize icon pack and yes you have the option to use the oxygen os icon pack of course you can use the wi-fi icon customizations you can customize all other things and these are quite good i think so these are enough customizations if you need in a customer so yes things are quite interesting game space I, as i previously shown you so yes there are no major things you can enable or disable these options if you want to you can even add your own custom apps if you want to add in this new game space i think i video how you can add this game space in other android 12 custom homes so i'll try to make video on that too wallpapers and styles of course and you have other themed icons option which is working pretty fine no issues here and the default these ui app grid things i think it's the new modded pixel launcher included it's not pixel launcher of course but yes it has these options available for you so it's good if you have the that launcher and you are having this wallpaper and style options so that seems to be quite good some other interesting options includes the gestures which have the playback control which is working pretty fine and one thing if you're able to notice in gesture settings you have the option to enable the full screen gestures which means it will hide the navigation bar pill and also to hide the space behind the keyboard so yes that's good too let me show you if i enable this and you can see there's no space behind the keyboard and there's no navigation bar pill i'm the user who always use this thing and for that of course i always use my disk module and that's pre-installed that's included so that's also great this might be one of the reasons while installing this camera the default camera is we have the google camera so that's good too i'm not talking about the google camera go edition this is the normal default google camera mode which you get pre-installed that's also quite good you can also use other gcam modes maybe if it is working for you everything else is the same if you want to give it a try you can performance seems to be good enough for me otherwise you can install it directly link is in the description you can check out if you want to this is all from this short and simple video goodbye have a nice day
over the edge Feel like I'm floating through the air